Hello and welcome to this Axonobel e-learning module on petroleum lining solutions for the downstream oil and gas market with a focus on maintenance and reliability. My name is Matthew Fletcher. I'm a global product manager at International Paint responsible for the linings product range. Here is the agenda for the presentation. We'll start off with an introduction to International Paint followed by looking at some of the industrial challenges with petroleum tank linings and then we'll go into the solutions that Axon Bell can offer, including value propositions and proof points for the linings products. International Paint is a brand of Axon Bell and has been in the paint and coatings market for over 100 years. For well over 40 years, International Paint has supplied internal tank linings to the downstream oil and gas market, starting back in 1976 with our own interline product range. We have expanded our product offer for our customers through internal development in our own laboratories and through acquisition. Matte Coat gave us reinforced linings with glass fiber to add to the durability of the tank linings. The Seal Coat acquisition in 2006 gave us access to vinyl ester technology for areas where stronger acid chemical attack is expected. Invaraline acquired in 2008 gave us the ability to supply novel epoxy Novolac technology with quick return to service times. DeVoe acquired with ICI in 2009, strengthened our position in the North American market. Polybrid, we partnered up with in 2011 and International Paint are the exclusive distributor globally of Polybrid which gives us a polyurethane, polyurea hybrid flexible lining. And finally, in 2017, we acquired the FlexCrete company, which gives us access to cementish products. So we are now in a position where we have the right technology, the right resins to solve your individual problems, rather than having a limited range of technologies and trying to make your problem fit to our product. In March 2019, a new linings research and innovation campus was opened in the northeast of England in Felling. This state of the art laboratory allows international paint to carry out the most advanced testing on our tank linings, including the development of novel test methods to ensure that our laboratory testing replicates the actual performance of our products within the field. So we have a very strong correlation between laboratory testing and field performance to give our customers the security and knowledge that our products will perform as expected in service. Looking at the petroleum market and the challenges for petroleum tank linings, many of the plants are now aging assets some of the storage tanks have been in service for decades. They're maybe nearing the end of their anticipated service life or their service life has been extended from what was initially expected at new construction. And also a lot of these plants, the refineries and petrochemical plants are built near waterways or the sea. And the ground is very close to the water table level and therefore can be very wet. And these wet and humid environments create a lot of corrosion problems with the tanks. The cons consequence of this is that the old tanks, if the linings are not performing as expected, may be subjected to unplanned outages, which can be very inconvenient and expensive. And if a leak was to occur, to be bad for the company's reputation and the brand of the owner or the operator of the, the plant. If there are leaks, un unexpected leaks, then the environment, environmental agency may fine the asset operator. And if the tanks are in poor condition, the steel is highly corroded, pitted, then they require higher value linings, higher quality linings to be able to be applied to these uneven surfaces, such as solvent free materials. Within the industry, there are naturally budget constraints. So the operators want to carry out as much maintenance as possible on the fixed budget that they have. The consequences of this are that the shutdown dur durations tend to be minimized to reduce operational losses, which puts pressure on the ability 
to empty, clean, and apply linings to the internals of the petroleum storage tanks. Many of the maintenance managers on plant will carry out risk-based prioritization of work as they cannot carry out every job they want to carry out and shutdowns are time to reduce operational losses rather than to make lining application easy. So for example, a plant may shut down in winter when applying paints and linings is quite difficult, but that's the best time economically for the plant to shut down. In many areas of the world, VOCs are now being strictly monitored and downstream sites must therefore control the emissions of VOCs from their plant. International paint, low VOC, solvent-free tank linings can help a plant manage their VOC emission levels. Within the downstream market, more aggressive cargoes are being stored. Biofuels, for example, will quite often have contamination of acids, which are more aggressive to the carbon steel and to the tank lining itself. There are also many grades of crude which require storage at higher temperature to lower the viscosity to allow them to be pumped around site. And therefore, asset owners require linings with higher chemical and temperature resistance than they did in the past. In terms of procurement, many companies are now trying to reduce the number of different suppliers they have to reduce the cost of managing their supply chain. And in international paint, you have an ideal partner who can offer all your tank lining requirements, as well as the rest of paint and coatings requirements for the entire site, be it for cementitious repairs and, or fire protection, high heat corrosion and insulation, or just general corrosion protection of steelwork. International paint can be the one-stop supplier to the plant. Looking at the value propositions that International Paint are able to offer the downstream market with their linings products. The proven performance of International Paint tank linings, both in terms of application and performance in service once applied, reassures applicators that the project will follow the project plan without disruption due to application issues of the products. This therefore reduces the unplanned quality assurance work, which is an extra cost to the applicator and often not budgeted into a project. It also means that the applicator can be confident that the linings will perform once applied correctly and they will not have warranty issues with the asset owner or operator. The Enviroline tank linings have very rapid cure characteristics. And this means that the inspectors can come in on the same day, so after four hours of the lining being applied to start carrying out inspection of the linings. And this allows you to carry out any remedial work within a day and therefore allow you to demobilize your team more quickly from site. The products can be returned to service within 14 hours. And this also allows you to move on from the tank more quickly and offers the owners benefits of reduced shutdown periods. The reinforced linings comply to the API standard, which allows inspection windows to be extended for the asset operators and owners. In using the Enviroline reinforced linings, the applicator has the benefit of a lining that can be applied up to seven times more quickly than traditional reinforced systems therefore reducing your time on site and your labor costs. And the simple application of the reinforced Enviroline systems in a single coat through a spray pump reduces the possibility of error in applying the, the lining system and therefore reduces the amount of remedial work required. And will it end up with the applicator having a much more cost effective application method of the system? The low temperature cure products from Enviroline can cure down to minus seven degrees Celsius or 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Most traditional epoxy type systems require a minimum of plus 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that the application of the linings can take place without heating of the tank in some conditions. And this will reduce the cost of the applicator to apply the linings correctly to the tank. International Paint have tank linings 
which will resist the majority of operating conditions within the site. This allows polymeric linings to be used by the applicator in these tanks, where previously the only options may have been exotic weld overlays or to construct the tank from stainless steel, which would have removed the possibility of applying the lining from the application company. Many of the international paint petroleum tank linings are sold from free. This allows them to be applied over thickness, for example, in areas where there may be unevenness or pitting of the tank steel without the risk of solvent entrapment. This reduces the rework required for the linings as well because there's a wide thickness tolerance which can allow them to be applied over thick without the need for remedial work. Over the years, International Paint have acquired a large number of approvals for their linings. They are approved by most of the oil and gas major com companies throughout the world, including the private companies such as Shell or Exxon, as well as the national oil companies in the Middle East and Far East. Some of our products have jet fuel approval if required for lining of jet fuel tanks. International Paint's petroleum tank linings offer offers you multifunctional linings with a significant number of benefits for both applicator and owner. As an applicator, you'll be able to solve some of your owner's problems using the unique technologies that international paints supply into the market. I'll now look at some of the individual products from international paint and show examples of where they have been successfully used within the oil and gas market. Interline 984 is a solvent-free epoxy phenolic tank lining which has been used for over 40 years in the downstream market to protect petroleum tanks against corrosion, often from the water that gathers at the bottom of large crude oil and hydrocarbon storage tanks. The system can be incorporated into a mat coat system where glass fibers mats are added to the, the lining system to give it reinforcement. And this will allow an ex extension of inspection window under the API guidelines. Interline 984 is also approved for jet fuel use with the EI 1541 standard. And there is also a conductive version available for markets where conductivity is required in the storage of hydrocarbons. MATCO has an extensive track record. The example we have here is of a tank that has been had the mat coat lining in for over 40 years at Shell Wood River Refinery in Illinois, USA. This large tank was initially coated in 1962 with the mat coat system and was inspected after 16 years in 1978 and also 14 years later in 1992. when the refinery inspector confirmed that the tank was still in service and the lining was in good condition. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a crude oil storage tank was lined in 1978 with the mat coat system. The 90 meter diameter or 300 foot diameter crude tank was inspected in 1999, 21 years later when it was taken out of service for mechanical modifications and there are no lining failure in the tank. Varoline 376F60 is a polycyclamine cured flake and fiber filled reinforced epoxy Novlac tank lining. The solvent free product can be applied up to two millimeters in one coat and contains fiber reinforcement. It therefore conforms to API 652653 as a thick film fiber reinforced lining, which can add up to five years to the inspection window of a new or refurbished tank. A winter grade of the 376F60 is also available, which will cure down to minus seven degrees Celsius. And the standard grade product can be returned to service within 14 hours at 20 degrees Celsius. 
In this example here, a crude oil storage tank in the UK was used to store crude from Venezuela, which was highly viscous and required heating to 85 degrees Celsius or 185 degrees Fahrenheit. After nine years in service from first being built, the tank was showing severe corrosion at the base from water that gathered under the crude oil. And this corrosion actually led to holes in the base of the tank. The owner estimated that the downtime costs for the tank were approximately $2 million a month, and therefore was very interested in a quick cure solution, which could reduce the number of days that the tank had to be shut down. No other coating on the market offered the genuine high heat resistance combined with the fiber reinforcement and quick application that the owner wanted. The Enviroline 376F60 can be applied up to seven times more quickly than a traditional hand lay mat reinforced system. Following the successful application of this first tank, three more tanks have been lined at this facility. Here we see an image of the heated plural airless pump used to apply the Enviroline 376F60. And the bottom image is an image of the lining being applied within the tank to the base and one meter up the wall of the tank. The brown pipes visible in the foreground of these photographs are the heating coils within the pipe to maintain the oil at the correct temperature in the storage. A confirmed case history for the Enviroline 376F60 was an application in Kuwait where the product was applied in one layer of 700 microns. In 2009, following eight years of service, the owner was concerned about underside corrosion of the tank and they followed their standard policy to replace the tank base. This involved cutting out the tank base, welding in a new base and then reapplying a lining. A section of this base was cut out and sent to Felling in the UK for analysis at the International Paint Tank Linings Laboratory. The image on the right shows the plate. It was approximately 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters or one foot by one foot. The black marks on the plate are from the cutting of the steel. Before the, the steel was cut, the, the, the lining was undamaged. Adhesion tests showed a minimum adhesion of 19 megapascals of this lining to the steel plate. This is a, a very good result for the adhesion of a, an epoxy tank lining and shows that the lining was still offering significant protection to the steel beneath. The owner's concern was that there was underside corrosion on the bottom of the, the steel plate, which was not lined. Enviroline 405 HTR has the highest temperature resistance of the petroleum tank linings, being resistant up to, to a wide range of hydrocarbons up to 150 degrees Celsius. The solvent-free product is flake and fiber reinforced as with the Enviroline 376F60, and therefore can inspect and extend the inspection window of the tank. The quick cure product can be returned to service within 14 hours at standard ambient curing temperatures. The example here is a tank for Kuwait oil company in the Middle East. The specifier was Petrofac who specified the Enviroline 405 HTR to be applied at a thickness of one millimeter or 40 mils to the base and one meter up the shell of four tanks. The tanks are only lined at the base and one meter up the shell on the inside because this is the area within a hydrocarbon storage tank, so within a crude oil or petrol or diesel storage tank, where any moisture will collect. It will collect beneath the hydrocarbon and cause corrosion of the steel. The crude oil itself or the, the other hydrocarbons being stored generally are not aggressive to the carbon steel and therefore the rest of the tank does not require protection. Crude oil worth billions of dollars is stored in bulk storage tanks all over the world. 
protection of these valuable assets is essential. So adapting coating selection during tank maintenance provides additional assurance in the event of underside corrosion. Within any bulk storage tank, two dynamic processes can result in the structural failure of the steel tank floor. Suitable tank linings are designed to withstand this normal in-service flexing motion. If a perforation or hole is caused by underside corrosion, an unreinforced lining may not be sufficient to prevent cracks from forming. This can result in environmental contamination and potentially large fines. Full tank bottom replacement is often seen as the only answer when faced with such issues. We help tank operators and owners to avoid this course of action by gathering knowledge from industrial experts like API to develop innovative coating solutions. There are three main categories of lining defined within API 652. The most a coating can contribute to the overall inspection interval is five years, with only FRP systems such as matte coat providing this potential extension under the latest revision of API 653. Only thick film reinforced options are recognized by API as having whole bridging capabilities. Enviroline 376F60 has, in test simulation, bridged holes up to 2 inches in diameter. However, API has proved that FRP linings can bridge holes up to 8 inches wide. Matcoat, with its track record in the oil and gas industry spanning half a century, is the industry-leading spray-applied FRP lining for bulk storage facilities. The inclusion of Enviroline single coat hole bridging solutions offers a truly unique opportunity to solve the issues which bulk storage tank operators encounter. We're committed to providing the coatings and the services our customers need wherever their facilities are located. To discover how to avoid unnecessary costs, contact your local AXO Nobel Protective Coatings representative. In summary, this presentation has focused on the three key tank lining products for the petroleum tank lining market. However, these three products are only a small part of the comprehensive international paint tank linings offer. These products have shown proven performance and reliability for over 40 years in the market. And due to the fact that we have access to a wide range of different technologies within the linings range, we can offer a solution that is correct for any issue you may have rather than trying to fit your issues to our solutions. In terms of the Enviroline product range, we can offer quick application and cure properties to reduce the duration of your shutdown and also to reduce the duration that applicators spend on site and therefore reducing the risk of accident. The long inspection windows of the International Paint Reinforced Linings allow the linings to align with the site maintenance planning rather than to dictate the site maintenance planning. This concludes the Axonobel e-learning petroleum lining solution presentation. I thank you for your attention and please keep your eye out for other Axonobel e-learning modules.